AMD produces a vast range of processors spanning a huge price range from as little as £50 to well over £8,000 in a dizzying variety of sockets, architectures, core counts and clock speeds. And whilst choosing the best processor for a home or a gaming PC is pretty straightforward, it's not nearly as obvious when specking up a workstation. This is because professional graphics workstation applications vary enormously in their requirements. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the AMD processor range, identifying which are suitable for use in a workstation and which models are optimal for specific professional graphics applications. This video is based on the knowledge and experience garnered from the experts in our 3XS Systems team. 3XS Systems employs a large team of resident technical experts, each with dozens of years of experience in their respective fields to design our award-winning workstations. As already mentioned, AMD makes a huge variety of processors, so a good place to start is a quick overview of the six ranges. From high-end to entry-level, these are Epic, Epic P, Ryzen Threadripper Pro, Ryzen Threadripper, Ryzen and Athlon. Of these, neither Epic, Epic P nor Athlon are good choices for a workstation. Now that's not to say that they're bad CPUs, but whilst highly specified, Epic and Epic P processors are optimized for servers. Athlon processors aren't suitable either as they only have two cores, so they're not powerful enough for demanding workstation applications. Of the remaining three processor families, all are broadly speaking a good choice for a workstation. However, as workstation applications vary enormously in the demands they put on the system, System, it's not a good idea to simply choose the most expensive CPU and hope for the best. So this video will reveal what you need to consider and why. Ryzen Threadripper Pro is AMD's latest and highest spec series. Unlike standard Threadripper CPUs, which are Ryzen on steroids, the Threadripper Pro is based on Epic Server CPUs. Now this is important to know because despite Threadripper Pro and Threadripper both having up to 64 cores and 128 threads, there are significant differences between the two. The first and more important difference is in the memory controller, with Threadripper Pro supporting a whopping 2TB of RAM versus only 256 gigabytes on the standard Threadripper. What's more, Threadripper Pro supports eight channel ECC registered memory, which provides double the bandwidth and much greater reliability than the quad channel unbuffered memory that standard Threadrippers support. The benefits of these differences in the memory architecture won't be felt by all applications though, but huge CAE simulations or AEC tasks which are particularly memory intensive will thrive on Threadripper Pro. The second big difference between these two mighty workstation CPUs can be found in the PCIe controller. Threadripper CPUs support a whopping 72 high-speed PCIe 4 lanes far more than any competing Intel CPU, making it a good choice for systems with four GPUs as each card can have the optimum 16 lanes, leaving eight lanes over for other devices such as NVMe SSDs. In contrast, Threadripper Pro CPUs support an unmatched 128 PCIe 4 lanes, providing even more capacity for additional devices such as exotic storage controllers and high-speed NICs. While not every workstation will benefit or need so many PCIe lanes, a good example of where Threadripper Pro could be the way to go would be a high-end dev box used for developing deep learning models. Equipped with four GPUs, a couple of NVMe SSDs, and a 10 gigabit or even 100 gigabit or faster NIC, such a configuration would be the ultimate dev box. Other differences to be aware of between the two ranges of Threadripper CPU are subtler, but they're still worth being aware of. For instance, if you take a close look at the two flagship models, the Threadripper 3990X and the Threadripper Pro 3995WX, which both have 64 cores and 128 threads, you'll see that the latter has a slightly slower base clock and turbo frequency, but more cache memory than the former. While this can lead to some scenarios such as simple 3D renders completing marginally faster on Threadripper, more complex renders and simulations complete faster on Threadripper Pro. Based on testing that R3XS experts have conducted, it's clear that Threadripper Pro is the ultimate workstation CPU and superior in every regard to Threadripper. That said though, Threadripper is still a great choice for a workstation, particularly for 3D rendering where the advantages of Threadripper Pro are very slight and so it's hard to justify the extra cost of the latter. 
For instance, if you know you're never going to need more than 256 gigabytes of RAM and you're working in the media and entertainment industry, then Threadripper is a great choice. On the other hand, if you're creating huge 3D models and scenes, running huge mechanical or fluid simulations, then the peace of mind that ECC memory gives you means that the Threadripper Pro is the way to go. While we've already covered Ryzen Threadripper CPUs in extensive detail in the first half of this video, it is necessary to refer to it again to help put Ryzen CPUs into context. The most significant difference between Ryzen Threadripper and Ryzen is the number of available cores, with the former offering up to 64 and the latter up to 16. This is incredibly important because most professional workstation applications are heavily multi-threaded, so they'll run faster the more cores the CPU has. For example, we've clocked the 64-core Ryzen Threadripper 3990X, completing multi-threaded renders 196% faster than the 16-core Ryzen 9 5950X. All those extra cores in Ryzen Threadripper can be put to other uses too, for example, enabling your workstation to render in the background whilst you use other cores to continue modeling, something that simply isn't practical in a system with only a few cores. Of course, many rendering applications now render faster on a GPU than a CPU, but even in this situation, Ryzen Threadripper CPUs are superior because they have more PCIe lanes than Ryzen. Ryzen Threadripper CPUs support a whopping 72 high-speed PCIe 4 lanes, enough for four GPUs, leaving eight lanes over for other devices such as NVMe SSDs. In contrast, Ryzen CPUs only support 20 PCIe 4 lanes, so are optimally partnered with a single GPU. And for these reasons, whether you're CPU or GPU rendering, or a mixture of both, Ryzen Threadripper is the way to go, particularly if you work in the media and entertainment industry, working on films, TVs, or games. It's also worth noting that Ryzen Threadripper supports more memory than Ryzen, so if you're working with larger models or data sets then Ryzen simply may not be up to the job. However, there are some graphics workstation applications that actually run faster on Ryzen than Ryzen Threadripper. And the best example of this are CAD applications such as AutoCAD and 2D image manipulation applications such as Photoshop, as these typically do most of their work on a single thread, so they're particularly sensitive to CPU, IPC and clock speed. This is important because Ryzen CPUs are built exactly that way, being based on the higher IPC Zen 3 architecture and having a higher single core turbo frequency than Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. With all this in mind, it's important to recognize that not only are Ryzen CPUs great for CAD and photo editing, but they're also a very good choice for other workstation applications if your budget can't stretch to a Threadripper. After all, the 12 core and 16 core Ryzen 9s may be slower than a Ryzen Threadripper, but they're massively faster than Intel's 8-core Core i9 processors in multi-threaded applications and on par in single-threaded applications. So now you know which three AMD CPU families are most suitable for a workstation and what are the key characteristics of each. Of course though, we recognize that regardless of whether you're working in a business or you're self-employed content creator, your budget will dictate what sort of workstation you can buy. It's important to remember though that if your workstation can complete a job faster, it gives you more time to be creative, iterating new designs and moving on to the next project quickly. In summary, whilst either a Ryzen Threadripper Pro, Ryzen Threadripper or Ryzen CPU is a good choice for a workstation, some are more suited to different applications than others. We've condensed this information into a handy table. Here it should be easy to see which CPU might be better suited to you based on the applications that you'll be using. We've added a performance rating out of three to help you decide. If you're still unclear on what to choose, our technical experts in 3XS systems are on hand to answer any questions you have and advise on the perfect spec for your workstation. So get in touch today.